like I only got the call for the job the night before and I was actually I thought oh. I didn't get the role mm. I, I, I had assumed because I hadn't heard anything that it you know it had gone to someone else so I went back to Devon to visit my family and then I got the call and saying okay you're you're needed for tomorrow they've booked you Christopher Nolan's chosen you and I thought Whoa. okay that's fine and then, then they said okay so uh 5 30 call time I uh, was thinking oh my god it's like it's like <laughs> 6 p.m now I've got to somehow get back to London back oh, to where we're filming so uh it was like wake up I was like telling my mum okay can you um drive me five hours to London <laughs> yeah. so I can make it to this they were like okay we'll pick you up because they, they said okay we'll send you a car to Trafalgar Square if you can get there mm-hmm. to the location so um it was quite it was quite interesting my mum had like a 10 hour round trip <laughs> but worth it oh god yeah <laughs> yeah yeah she was happy she was like she was in good spirits bless her she's always been you know traveling me up and down when I was um at school going to auditions <laughs> when I was young so she knows what it's like but yeah it's good oh no that's pretty cool nice mum mm. to be able to do that as well but obviously you know the fact that her daughter was in one of the biggest <laughs> Batman films going yeah, well, it was a quick scene, but it was good. I enjoyed it. And, um, it was great. It was a good, good starting point as well. Like, definitely felt lucky. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, you've not just le- uh, left DC Comics there either, have you? As we move on, because <laughs> uh, you were playing an Amazonian Wonder Woman and Justice League. Yeah, yeah, I was playing a warrior, Amazonian warrior and Wonder Woman and Justice League. Yeah, so the last year I've been pretty much on those films and we did a lot of training. So I've been training with at Leavesden Studios, um, Warner Brothers in, yeah. in martial arts. So, mm-hmm. well, sword fighting, spear fighting and, and archery. And then we did like ridiculously intense fitness training every day. Right. Um, so that, that was like seven months of training. And then mm-hmm. we went to Italy to film Wonder Woman. And then I came back and then went back into training for another six weeks and then we filmed Justice League. So it's been it's been quite a quite an intensely athletic year, but good fun, <laughs> definitely. Excellent. Um, yeah, it was great because I'd never really picked up a sword before. Right. And, and we had to fight these German soldiers with rifles. So mm-hmm. we had to put and make it look like it was, you know, realistic. So all the Amazonians had to build muscle and lose mm-hmm. fat. So we were put on strict diets so <laughs> that we were working out intensely and it was quite it was really intense but exciting and and quite like quite an experience I've never worked out like that before but um, yeah it was good it's just what they wanted to achieve obviously for the film so great training for free getting to (laughs) getting to learn weaponry love it yeah you see I need to do that I've put on a load of (laughs) piled on four stone (laughs) oh no you don't look you look great don't worry from that side up yeah from from this half down I look like the uh, Mr Staple no (laughs) it's fine I can see your chest it's all good (laughs) with a t-shirt on I'll just add before anyone oh right yeah 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 this is true this is true he's not naked (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I mean I won't delve into more and Wonder Woman that and obviously because they're not out so I know you can't there's not much you can give oh, away yeah. about those so I'm not gonna okay, I, won't, yeah. I, won't, I won't get you in trouble oh with them. <laughs> great you know you know the rules don't oh, you oh yeah well uh, practiced <laughs> yeah I'm just getting there <laughs> nice. things about Leaveston Studios um actually I've got a little anecdote as well about Leaveston is the fact that I used to live in Watford and I used to go to Palmer to school in Garston obviously right around Leaveston airport when it was, oh, yeah. friends, some lifelong friends of ours lived right opposite, and they used to work when it was Rolls Royce. They only oh, changed really? it. They had changed it into Warner Brothers literally about three or four years after I left. So absolutely oh, gutted. No, <laughs> yeah. you could have been all living opposite Harry Potter world. I know, yeah. Good. Went to see that last year, but yeah, it's brilliant. Was, was it good? It was. It was fantastic. But, um, oh, but yeah, no, cool. yeah, it's a couple of years after I left, and, and they did that. So. I, really? I'm, just, I'm just a jinx when I go things get better <laughs> oh, you, did you did you sell at the right time or did you oh no maybe my, the... my dad was a minister so we didn't really sell it was obviously he was a minister in the church so it was oh a church's okay house. fair enough so fair we moved enough. up and lived in a, uh, moved up here oh that's a shame oh well you can always go back at least you at least you got to see Harry Potter world in the end but oh yeah I had I've actually been even though the studios are like Harry Potter world and then Leaveston it's kind of part of it Mm. I never actually went round to to see it. So it's right. like different access. Yeah. But um, I've heard it's great. Mm. 
we saw things being filmed when we went down there as well. Because obviously the studios literally oh, are yeah. the sets are exactly. just behind. Exactly next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. I couldn't work out what it was. I was trying to get it out of the people in the, in the Harry Potter studios. Oh, but you would <laughs> I know everyone's like sign NDAs, like. But um, also, I mean, to be honest, because it's all filmed in studio, you probably wouldn't. You might have seen people in weird costumes, mm. but that's about as far as you'd get, isn't yeah. it? Cause... I think there's an external set being built, so I don't know what it was oh, for, like right. a street scene, a city scene, from what I could say. Oh, possibly, yeah, yeah. yeah. But God there's, knows, it could have been for anything. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Could have been. Good. Cool, so moving on, uh, Knights of the Damned, that's, well, mm-hmm. that's the one you've just finished, or you've just wrapped filming on. Yes. What character do you play in Knights of the Damned? I play Frowina, mm-hmm. and she is a, a Katsuri character. So she's a warrior again, yeah. um, and she and she's um, part of a tribe, and we're from the Katsuri tribe, and we're traveling to the, to the south to. We're basically looking for seeking revenge, and then we we meet these knights on, on the way, and then they, we kind of go along with them, and then things happen, and it's quite it's an exciting film. It's really I'm really excited about it coming out, and we filmed in such amazing locations up and down the country so it was cool it it was quite fast fast paced shoot (laughs) yeah what can you kind of tell us about the story i know i spoke to ross last night with about what what, is there anything that you can add what kind of story from there um yeah so it's basically quite a fantasy film Mm -hmm. so you've got knights you've got um mermaids and you've got the Katori tribe. So you've got all all kinds. You've got zombies that, that are called the Fury. They come out at night. Mm-hmm. They're attacking us. So um, it's a lot of a lot of fightings and battles, which yeah. is great. My my weapon was um, bow and arrow, so I did a lot of archery. Oh, right, cool. So that was good fun. And there's it's quite a high high suspense, mm-hmm. high drama kind of theme, and it it's good because it really does kind of grip you. The story the story is great, and I think it's good. It's got it's kind of a cross. It's similar to Game of Thrones, but it's got like a different element to it, more of a fantasy element to yeah. it. And it's it is going to be it's it's quite a big scale in terms of um, what their their plan is for for the project. So I'm I'm really excited for when it comes out. Um, mm. And we filmed in a great great castle and um waterfalls and it's really picturesque as well which is really cool yeah it's really good <laughs> it does sound really i mean i think um uh, it's sort of likened as well a mix between like game of thrones and walking dead type of people who like that sort of fan yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly that's pretty that's pretty much hit it on the head that's exactly <laughs> it like if you're into zombies then you're gonna love it because there are plenty of those um yeah. i got quite scared at one point because the, they were just coming out of everywhere and um <laughs> And we didn't really rehearse very much. So it was a lot about like action, mm. you know, go. So it was really, you know, that hype that you have and the adrenaline that you have when you're actually doing the battle scenes is quite real because you've just literally had one chance to block it out and then, yeah. okay, you are fighting. And then suddenly like these zombies are coming in from <laughs> everywhere and it's not dark and you've been working for 15 hours so you're slightly delirious. <laughs> yeah. And it's then like, you have to run. It real? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was good. But um, it was great because I was one of four of the Katori tribes and we we just got on really well and um everyone had a different skill and they mm-hmm. were that were they were really good at so um together it, it looked great because I think we worked well as a team also off camera as well as when we were like trying to save each other um from the fury so it was cool. Fantastic. Kate and yeah. Zara were also part of the yeah. Katori tribe weren't they? Yeah. Zara, yeah yeah. So um I don't know if you've spoken to any of them but yeah they not on the show yet but yeah. <laughs> Like into the action, yeah. Mm. So Zara's done really well, and she she was really experienced at martial arts. She's really yeah, she's um, an well, as well. Well, and she? so is Kate actually. Yeah, they're both incredible martial artists. So it was great because I could learn from them, and we mm-hmm. can help each other out with the moves as well as with the stunt coordinators with all the choreography. Yeah, um, it was cool. We were rehearsing out on the on the moat on the lawn as well, like in front of the castle gates and then it was all like action so it was a lot of running mm-hmm. um it was quite half paced and actually zara at some uh she was on crutches so she had to she was such a trooper because she was still fighting and doing some of the action mm. even though she had a you know an injury from another film so it was pretty impressive <laughs> That's pretty so cool, yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 it's cool cool and no, i think um both of them are coming on I, i've known kate for a year 
online to speak to and chat to. Oh, really? That's um, cool. So it's, it's quite cool. Yeah. Also, Mark Samus as well, because I know he was one of the... Oh, he yeah. was in it, yeah. Yeah, he's Mark a, was in it. lovely guy. I met him in March because he was in Pandorica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I'd, cool. I'd, I'd put all, had those guys on and I met them all at the um, premiere, the world premiere at uh, Pukheli, uh, uh, Sci-Fi oh, Weekend. Uh, so I right. sat with them and, yeah, Mark's oh, he's brilliant. They're all lovely Mark's guys. <laughs> Yeah, we actually we've actually stayed friends and um yeah he's doing really well and he was great in that because he's so scary in in, mm. in Knights of the Damned he's his character he plays it so well yeah um really intimidating in in the bar so there are some beautiful um locations I mean there was this one scene in Wales and we're doing this in this rustic building it's kind of like a medieval style home and it's mm-hmm. it's all like you know it's really stripped back it's really cool yeah. I think it would look great with lighting it gives it that medieval edge to it so it's cool excellent it really does sound like one I want to watch because it's right up my street <laughs> oh really yeah great yeah I mean I had and even the costumes I mean they used real fur and I had a crow's claw around my around my neck so just like oh, the nice. little details like that really was was great Brilliant, brilliant. And what was the atmosphere like on set? Uh, as much as you can, obviously, without giving any spoilers away or anything like that, it seems like very much fun because there's a lot of backstage photos and behind the scenes pictures have gone up. Oh, yeah. And, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you've got any stories yeah. or fun stories you can share which won't <laughs> get you um, in trouble? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to think what I can say. But no, I mean, there was a lot of fun things that happened. We went to the first day we were filming in Wales and it started pouring. Mm-hmm. and then we were like taking shelter but then we had to do this running scene and fighting outside and that was just like we were drenched but we had to look like you know yeah. obviously it wasn't raining or anything that was good and then um we were doing um some fight choreography in in the barn mm. and there was this the cameraman had to um get right up to one of the beams to get a good shot from over the top yeah. and he like got up and it was like we were like, oh, that's really impressive. You did it on your own. And then he just smacked his head on the room like, <laughs> oh, God, we can't have the cameraman down. <laughs> this will be the end of the shoot. So oh, um, it was quite funny. But, yeah, it was good. I mean, a lot of the fight stuff, because it, it was such small, confined spaces sometimes. Yeah. Um, it was quite hard to get it all done without someone getting injured or, you know. But it, it was good. We were we all kind of like, like together and worked as a team and it, it looked great. I think, I think it will look good because, well, I saw some of the rushes on, on the camera and it, mm-hmm. it, even in such a small space, I think it will hopefully will do the job. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Are there any other kind of projects you're working on at the moment? I know we mentioned a couple before we start recording. Uh, yeah, I'm doing, um, I did a French film I'm um, short film mm-hmm. where I played like a femme fatale and that was in Paris and that was a black and white movie so I was I just finished that and I did another short film that's called Recoil that's going to be entered into the film festival so um, they're looking at Cannes Film Festival and hopefully making a feature film out of it so Excellent. that's exciting yeah so we'll see how that goes yeah that that's basically what we've been doing and then just been kind of going doing some commercials here mm. and there Doing some weird and wonderful commercials. <laughs> um, all good, yeah. All right, well, fantastic. Was that a short film? Was that the one you were talking? The ob- obsession thing was it? The, oh yeah, obsession the, the, the dark desires. Thing? Yeah, the obsession dark desires. I um I was playing like a lead role in a docudrama, mm-hmm. and that was meant to be uh, that's set in the Bronx. Um, it's about a girl who she's called Evermere Duclerc. Um, she survived a domestic abuse attack from her boyfriend at the time, and um, it got to the point it was so bad that he shot her three times, once at the back of the head, and um, twice. Mm. Well, he shot her once at the back of the head, and he went to shoot her again on the head, but then the the bullet cocked in the got stuck in the gun. Yeah. So she basically was saved by by that, and so she lived to tell the story. And um, I play her in this docudrama called Obsession Dark Desires, and um, it was interesting because I had so much happens in her life and 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 in their relationship together. So it was cool because I got to um, learn how to do. Oh, I did the Bronx accent, and then got to try out different lots of different you know facets of her mm-hmm. character because it was great 
getting into learning and researching about her life and yeah. kind of following her testimonial and then actually doing it. So it was cool. Yeah. That's got to be, that does sound a pretty intense, but rewarding. A rewarding yeah, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And because it's TV, it's quite fast paced. So it was quite quick turnaround. 